We are here with one of the biggest experts in the world of boxing, Steve Farger of Showtime. 2013 was a tremendous year. At this point, who gets fighter of the year according to Steve Oh, Farger? you're pinning me down. It's difficult not to give it to Mayweather, in my opinion, because he won the biggest fight of the year. He won it so clearly. His other performance was brilliant against Guerrero. So two very high-quality opponents in Guerrero and Canelo. I lean toward Mayweather. You want to make an argument for one of the other candidates? I understand. I would have to think about who else could be fighter of the year, but I probably tend to think Mayweather. Okay, you can't argue with that. Speaking of Floyd, a lot of talk of him against Pacquiao in May. We don't know if that's it. Maybe it's Floyd Mayweather or Amir Khan, but if Mayweather Pacquiao does happen, what do you think of that? Well, I would love to see it. I mean, it's too late. It's a couple of years later than we would have liked. It's still a fight I think the fans would like to see, maybe more than any other. I'm of the opinion that if Amir Khan fights Mayweather, it's actually a pretty tough fight for Floyd. A lot of people don't think that. I do. I think his style is uh, is difficult, Khan, for, for Mayweather. So either way, I'll be happy. I think uh, either fight is a good fight. Uh, you know, if, if I, I will believe Manny and Floyd if it gets made. I won't believe it till the bell rings for round one. And put it like this. This year's almost over. What do you... Of all the fights you saw this year, which is fight of the year, according to Steve Farr, right now? There have been so many good ones. There was, there was um, Omar Figueroa, right? Figueroa and Arakawa was a tremendous fight. Provodnikov and Tim Bradley was a tremendous fight. Um, was it um, Alvarado and uh, Rios? Rios was a tremendous fight. Uh, on Showtime, we had two or three unbelievable fights on the same card the night that, uh, what was it, Maidana with... Uh, Oh, uh, with uh, Josecito or Soto Cross? Well, both. Both of those were good fights. And then you had Lara and um, uh, Angulo. Yeah, great fight. So uh, you know, Angulo uh, could have easily won that fight. So been a lot of great fights. It's a great year for boxing. And my last question right now. So there is talk of Mayweather, of course, fighting Danny Garcia, most most underrated fighter right now. Even though he's top five pound for pound, who would you want to see him fight next? I'm, I'm happy with Amir Khan, to be honest with you. I'd like to see him fight Manny. I'd like to see him, of course. I'd like to see him fight Khan. Uh, Danny Garcia has earned his shot. Floyd has, what, four fights left on his Showtime deal. There's time for plenty of guys. Eventually, maybe even Broner. You know, Broner says, I won't fight Floyd, you know. But money has a way of changing things, you know. And if Broner keeps winning, and we'll see what he does tonight, the toughest test probably to date, I would love to see him fight Broner, Floyd and Broner, because that would be a storyline that would be uh, very, very uh, wild. There you have it, Steve Farhood. We want to follow you on Twitter, at Steve Farhood. You got it. That. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Right. Right. We'll Thank you.